Welcome to the Student Leadership and Activities portion of the Western Oregon University Virtual Open House. My name is Megan Haberman and I am the Assistant Director for Student Leadership and Activities here at Western. Um, and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what that means and then I'm going to tell you a little bit about what opportunities we have for new students and all of our students to get involved and different ways that you can get engaged with the campus community when you come to Western Oregon. Student leadership and activities. So we're in office here on campus and we're located in the Warner University Center which is in the heart of campus and we're the office that helps get students connected to all the different involvement opportunities that there are on campus. We also provide direct advising to a lot of different organizations. I myself advise our student government which is a lot like student council or things, different things like that at, at different high schools um, and I advise them. They have three different branches and I advise the Senate and I also advise the executive branch and I've worked with our judicial branch before too. We also advise the Student Activities Board and Greek Life and a bunch of different activities here on campus. Uh, we also provide assistance and advising to all the different campus groups. So they could be housing groups or just student organizations. Any student that really wants to put on an event, we're going to help them make that event happen. So that could be anything. Like um, earlier today, we were helping students figure out bingo for this weekend. Um, but we also do huge events like uh, homecoming and bonfires and things like that. We also do a lot of different leadership trainings. So we do everything from full day conferences to workshops. We go into different organizations and help provide some group development activities and things like that. I talked a little bit about what we advise directly. And pretty much what we want to do is help you find a connection on campus. So we aren't necessarily the one-stop shop for our leadership and activities because there's so many different departments that put on activities here on campus. But we are going to be the person that's going to help you figure out where to get involved. So maybe you're really interested in health and wellness and you want to get engaged with being a peer mentor. We'll help you find that connection. So even though we might not be the final stop on your destination of getting involved, we definitely want to be the first stop. In that picture there, you're going to see some students from our Discover Leadership program, and I'll tell you a lot more about Discover Leadership in a little bit, but they're trying to get 20 people on that little platform, so that's a pretty fun activity that we do. Why is it important to get involved? Uh, I'm asked this question oftentimes by new students, and I personally think that it's extremely important to get involved, so I'm going to go through a few of those reasons today. All right, the first reason is it improves your time management and some of your other skills. So oftentimes people have the misconception that if you're engaged in activities outside of the classroom that you're going to get bad grades because you're not paying attention to your classes. That is absolutely not the case. We actually have found that studies have proven that students who are engaged with co-curricular activities are more likely to get higher GPAs and more likely to graduate. And that is because they have to be better at time management. And because you necessarily, so here how it goes. So let's, let's pretend you're in student activities board. So they meet every Wednesday at 6. So you have a final at 8 a.m. on Thursday. Well, you need to start studying for that final before Wednesday night because you know you have your Wednesday night commitment. Studying in advance is going to help you succeed regardless of whether or not you're involved. So it's really one of those things that you learn to time manage because your calendar is a little bit more full. So you know at that point that you need to manage your time to be better in your classes, which is going to help you be better overall. It also just helps with other pieces. So for instance, you might have some presentations in some of your classes that are going to be a significant part of your grade, particularly as you get in those 300 and 400 level classes when you're getting ready to graduate. You might not ever present if you're not involved. But if you are involved, inevitably you're going to be asked to stand up in front of a group of people and at least share a little bit about yourself. And those things can really make you a better public speaker and help you be stronger in some of your coursework. Next. We don't want you to know you can get academic credit. One of the great things that I think you're going to hear about later tonight with some of the faculty is that we have wonderful opportunities for our students to be involved in activities that they really control, such as student organizations, but also get academic credit. A great example for this is our Psychology Student Association. A lot of those students, they kind of dictate the agenda for the Psychology Student Association, but they also get to be a part of research teams. And so they get to publish research as undergraduates, which is almost unheard of at a lot of other universities. So it's a really cool opportunity where they get to be in a club but also get academic credit. You also have something to put on your resume. So this is a big one. This is usually the number one thing when I'm with a group of new students and I'll ask them to raise their hands and shout out answers and I'll say it looks good on a resume. 
Absolutely. Just like you need to bolster your resume to get into college, once you get to college, that doesn't stop. You need to make sure that your resume is continually improving so that you can be marketable for jobs in the future. I think that something that I would never would have learned in my classes would be how to build an agenda or how to manage a budget. But when I was in college, I was the president of our residence hall association, and I did both of those things every week. So I was able to really market that when I wanted to go into positions. And those are things that I still do almost every day in my current job. So there, those are things that I can talk about in an interview that somebody who chose not to get involved wouldn't be able to talk about. Next, we have a leadership certificate program. So this is a really cool thing. Western deeply believes that we have wonderful student leaders that need to get credit for this. And while we don't have a leadership minor, we do have this program that gives you a certificate and we acknowledge you at graduation with cords and in the graduation program. And what we're saying is that we think that you have met these six core competencies that we think all leaders with a Western Oregon degree should have. And you work with an on-campus faculty or staff mentor and then you are acknowledged for all of this and you have the full backing of this program. You can show a future employer the, the qualifications to get in the program and to stay in the program which require a fairly high GPA and they require you to meet a lots of different different competencies. You not only have service but you also have professional development. So maybe you're very into volunteering but you're not very into being doing professional things like budget management and some of those things. I know I was that way when I was in college. So we can definitely work with you to make sure that you're learning all of those different things throughout the process and that you get credit at the end. Next, you get to meet other people with the same interests. A lot of people make a ton of wonderful friends when they're starting off here at Western, when they work with their SOAR groups or their halls as they move into the residence halls. But eventually, you're going to leave campus housing or move from your first year hall and have new people that you're going to hang out with. And so it's really great to join organizations because you know that those people have at least one similar interest as you do. You also are going to make more connections on campus, which means you're more likely to graduate. I see this all the time. We have students who will come to talk to a student organization advisor about something that's completely unrelated to their area. Uh, you know, we have somebody in our public relations department who advises a gaming club. And, you know, she came to me because one of her students was struggling academically and she wasn't sure where to send them. So we were able to help find them those resources that was really important for them, even though that's not necessarily what she or I do on a daily basis. So having those connections on campus, either to your peers or to the faculty and staff members that work with these groups can really help you be successful. You also might make some money. So we have a lot of positions on campus that will pay you. We even have a lot of student employment, just straight up jobs that are going to really prepare you for the future. So if you're worried about being able to balance all of these involvements as well as balance your job and all of these other things, don't worry about it because we are going to have positions here that will help pay for things, especially those positions that require some more hours out of you. But if you do need to have a full-time job while you're in college, we have a lot of low-level opportunities that don't require a ton of time from you that might not pay you but still let you be involved at your own level. Speaking of money, you're going to be paying for it. So all students pay an incidental fee and that fee goes to paying for athletics, the Health and Wellness Center, um, the University Center, and Student Leadership and Activities, and your student government. And all of those different things go towards different events, but to students like you that are going to be parts of clubs and be parts of organizations that are putting on events for other students. So, you know, it's just like taxes. If you want to you get the most out of it, you, you need to take advantage of those programs and to really learn a lot from those different opportunities here on campus. So I always encourage students to get what they're paying for. And I always want to remind people that leadership is truly for everyone. Uh, so people will say to me, I'm not very outgoing. I couldn't possibly be an orientation leader. Okay, well, m that's true for some people, and maybe that's not the best fit for you. But maybe you'd be really great at being a resident assistant because they need to have more one-on-one -on -one connections, and they take a longer time to develop rela relationships with their students. So there's still going to be an opportunity for you somewhere on campus. Maybe you're like, I have a very specific skill set. I'm, I'm a very good artist, but I'm really not good at facilitating groups. Well, great. I'm sure there's still opportunities for you to maybe get a job in the graphic design department or to work with the art club or to work as a freelance graphic designer for different clubs and organizations for their posters. There's still opportunities for you to get engaged outside of your classroom and be, make sure that you're making new friends outside. And the last one is the number one reason uh, to get involved, and that is just to have fun. I, it, I swear to you, it's, 
I'm not going to make you do anything you don't want to do for here at college. So it's a lot of fun to get involved. And uh, you, the best part about it is sometimes when you're getting involved before college, there's requirements. You know, you have to get a lease to stay after school, or you have to, you know, you have to commit to so many meetings, or you have to sign up for it, and then you're kind of stuck with it for a whole semester. Once you get to Western Oregon University, the world is kind of your oyster when it comes to getting involved. I always encourage students to sign up for as many clubs as they possibly could be interested in at the student organization fair, go to at least one meeting for each of those clubs, and then decide which ones are really a good fit for them. So there's no penalty for if you get involved and then decide you don't like that club l later, or if you know you apply for something and then in the middle of applying for that you decide you want to do something else. There's no penalty for any of that. So really you get to stretch yourself and try new things. I'm always encouraging students to do something different than what they did when they were in high school. Uh, you know, if you were an athlete, I would encourage you to join a student organization or student government, and vice versa. If you were in student government, I would encourage you to go out for intramurals and to have fun and make friends that way, because you really want to try new things, because you really don't know what else is out there, and there's so r little risk in terms of, you know, that commitment here at college that you can't go wrong. There's really no way to do it wrong. All right, so those are the reasons that it's really important to get involved, and I'm sure that you can think of a ton more, uh, but those are just kind of the main ones that I wanted to talk about with you today. Now we're going to go more into what opportunities are available here specifically at Western Oregon University. So how can you get involved? Well, the number one way that new students get involved is through their hall government. Uh, those applications are available in your hall when you move in in the first two weeks, and you can be anything from your hall's president to, you know, just a floor rep. And all of those positions are extremely important, and it's a great way to make sure that the community that you're living in is reflective of what you want it to be, that there's activities and policies and all kinds of things that are reflective of what you want your living situation to be. We also have Student Senate. So that's a branch of our student government, and they represent all students. So it's similar to Hall government, but they represent a, more, a wider variety of issues. So I know something that they're working on right now is trying to figure out how to make sure that online courses are marketed fairly to students, because some students don't understand they're signing up for an online course until registration has already passed. So how can we work with our departments to make sure that those things are being communicated? That might not seem like a huge issue, but it's been really confusing for some students. And so we're trying to make sure that our students are really understanding this. We also have a ton of on-campus jobs. So we have a whole online job database, and that's a wonderful way to meet new people and get engaged and definitely earn some money. We have intramurals and club sports, and I'm going to tell you a secret about intramurals. So we have two different leagues in intramurals. We have competitive and non-competitive. So even if you've never played basketball in your entire life and you really want to play, just sign up for a non-competitive league. Also, teams are so big, oftentimes people can't find enough people to be on their team, so they're always looking for people to come and join their team that they don't know. So it's one of those things that on campus, people are already expecting people they don't know to join their team, so it's a great way to make new friends. We also have over 65 student organizations. I encourage you as the year goes on and as you consider Western to always check out our website because oh, they're always changing. It's pretty easy to make an organization, so we oftentimes will have that change throughout the year. We also have Discover Leadership, which is the program that you see uh, Kayla and Austin with their little certificates right there, um, and that had the ropes course at the beginning. That's a 10-week workshop series that we oversee that helps students get really engaged. So if what I'm saying right now is completely foreign to you and you've never been involved in a club and it's not something that you're really confident in, this is a great program for you. Even if you're super involved as in your school right now, but you're like, I don't know if I can do it at a college level, I'm from a really small high school, I, I, that's a lot of people. Again, even if you already have some of the base skills, it can be a good way to network and meet other people. And that's, and we take applications for the first four weeks of fall term, so you have a lot of time to make a decision about that program. We also have the Student Activities Board, and they are constantly looking for volunteers. They have huge events. They do our annual holiday tree lighting, which we have a parade that goes all through town. We also do our homecoming events, where we paint the wolf in the middle of the street, and we have fireworks, and homecoming court, and powder puff football. A lot of events that need a lot of volunteers, and so they're always looking for new students to get involved. So that's kind of your first term. So how else can you get involved after your first term? Well, we have fraternity and sorority life here at Western that is pretty new. So if you know friends or family that went to Western, they'll probably tell you we don't have Greek life, but we do. We have two fraternities and one sorority. We're working on a few more organizations uh, to join us, but right now we have about, I'd say, about 75 students that are involved in Greek life. And so they rush in winter term, and so that is something that you could definitely do. You can also apply to be a resident assistant, a plus team peer advisor, which was what we call orientation leaders 
leaders, which is kind of like link crew, or a peer mentor, because the hiring season for that is always in winter. And so that's something you can get involved that will pay you and is a great way, a high profile leadership position here on campus. Um, you can also run for ASWOU, which is what we call our student government, or the residence hall association uh, positions in the spring term, um, and student media. So now that you know campus a little bit better, this is a great opportunity to get involved in student media. We have three different fa um, functions of student media. We have our Western Oregon Journal, which is our newspaper, which is always looking for freelance writers and photographers. We also have KWU, which is our online radio station. So you should definitely check that out now because you can listen to it anywhere that you have an internet connection. And we also have our Northwest Passage Literary Magazine, which is a great way to get published if you're an artist or write poems or short essays, and that comes out twice a year. Year. And they're always taking submissions for that. They're usually looking for DJs and they're almost always looking for freelance photographers and writers. So that's a great way to get involved at any time during your college career. So you can start a club. All you need is five friends and an idea. So literally all you need is five people to be on your paperwork with you that are interested in the same idea as you and an idea. So if you wanted to start, a, you know, let's say a hiking club. We currently don't have a hiking club. If you want to start a hiking club, we would help you out with all of that paperwork. And yes, there is a little bit of paperwork that goes with that, but that's what we're here to do. We're here to help you start that club. You can also serve on different campus committees. So if you're really dedicated to making Western a better place, you can sit on our tuition revision committee or our student health and advisory committee. You can sit on a bunch of different committees. Or you can go on an alternative break or service learning trip. The picture at the top there is some students in Honduras that are tutoring um, some children at a local orphanage. And we have a lot of different opportunities that go um, locally and globally to help different people across the United States and the world. When I do these presentations, I usually do them to a live audience um, and that's in front of me and not through the computer. So I usually bring a student leader with me because I know that that's really what you want to hear from. So I've collected a few quotes um, from students that have been involved in a lot of different things. And so the next couple slides are going to show you what our students currently think about being involved. And I asked them just to tell me what do you think is important or what do you like best about being involved? So you can see that Kelsey has really enjoyed learning something different. Kelsey's the one on the top. She's really enjoyed meeting people and really getting engaged. And she's on some service trips and she's also been an orientation leader. Below her is Janessa. Janessa is our current ASWOU Judicial Administrator and she has a very lengthy, I actually had to edit that down because she just, she's like, I can't think of, I can't shorten it. I will have so many nice things to say about being involved. Um, and so I'll let you read her thoughts. But I know one of the things that Janessa really said was that she really gets to feel like she makes a difference and that's really important to her. I think um, whenever you go to any, whether it's high school or community college or, or, you know, when you come to Western, there's procedures and policies that are very confusing and seem like totally out of your control. And I think being involved, you learn a lot more about why those things exist, but you also learn about how you can influence and change those things for the better. Um, and so that's been really important to Janessa. So then uh, we have a few more quotes. So up at the top is Kevin. He's currently the Grand Master of Omega Delta Phi, a multicultural fraternity. Um, and so he talked a lot about the unity and closeness that he has with his brothers and how important that has been for him as he's been here at Western. And then uh, uh, Becky Schroeder, she is our, uh, I think she's our traditions chair for Student Activities Board this year. She, cha she changes positions all the time. She'll just do whatever we need. And so she, she wanted to give you a little bit of advice. And then below, I have Andrew, Giovanni, and Carolina from a Multicultural Student Union uh, who were nice enough to each give me quotes about their experiences. Uh, and a lot of them, if you look at the quotes and you kind of think about them, a lot of them are happy to make friends that they were just really excited about a new way to make friends and to make connections on campus. Um, and, and that's all it's about. Like, sometimes people are worried that if they get involved that it's going to require a lot from them in terms of time or commitment or effort. And that might be true, but at the same time, it's also true that we just really want you to make connections and make friends here on campus. So that is all the time that I have tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm really excited to meet you when you come to Western. Um, again, there's my email if you have any for, uh, further questions. I really appreciate your time today, and I look forward to meeting you in the future. Thanks. Uh.